Hey guys, my name's Holly Baxter and today I wanted to talk to you about very low calorie diets. Um, I've noticed in the uh, recent weeks with a lot of new clients starting up for the beginning of the year with really good ambitions to lose a lot of weight uh, that people's expectations about how much weight is realistic uh, seems to be a little bit skewed and it kind of led me to thinking about um, these very low calorie diets and when it might actually be appropriate uh, to take a very low calorie or to start a very low calorie diet um, and who it might be useful for. So firstly, let's define what is a very low calorie diet. Generally speaking, it's women that I'm working with, so I'm going to kind of target this particular audience uh, first and foremost, but it's still relevant to men as well. So very low calories would be something under 1200 per day. Now that will vary depending on your age. That will depending on that would vary depending on also how much lean body mass uh, lean body mass you actually have. So for somebody like me that is around 65 kilograms or 142 pounds, I might have a different lean body mass to somebody that is only you know 90 pounds or 100 pounds and they're only 50 something kilograms. So it will vary a little bit. Um, so somebody that is a little bit smaller, 1200 might be a very normal amount of calories. But for someone of my stature, uh, that's quite low. So when might it be an appropriate time to actually implement something like this? Well, I think we need to look at the context and the situation uh, for why you're actually going to be dieting. So if you're somebody that is planning for a holiday in the middle of the year um, and you have plenty of time, then a more optimal strategy might actually be to do something that is a little less aggressive um, and spread it out over a series of weeks. But if you are pushed for time and you need to lose weight in a very short number of weeks, say you have only eight weeks until you go away, well then it's probably not the end of the world, but there are going to be some negative outcomes or consequences from doing something that is say around 1200 calories per day. So what are the health risks uh, when you are doing a low calorie diet? Well, the first thing that I look to is uh, your resting metabolic rate. So if you're eating at a calorie deficit that is incredibly low, uh, you're actually going to look at decreasing your resting metabolic rate and causing metabolic suppression. Now, of course, the longer the period of time that you're on really low calories, the more likely you are to actually cause more damage and more suppression. So if it's only for eight weeks and that's all you're going to be doing, well, then it's probably okay. But just understand that it's not the greatest thing for your metabolism. A slower, more drawn out diet approach, which is not so aggressive, would actually be better. And even better again, taking diet breaks helps to attenuate some of that metabolic suppression. The other thing that springs to mind when I think about very low calorie diets is loss of lean muscle mass. Okay, so... This now also depends on your starting weight and your starting body composition because for somebody that is really obese or very overweight uh, versus somebody that is very lean starting a very low calorie diet, the implications are quite different. If we take an obese person or somebody that is overweight and they have a lot of extra body fat, then dropping down to very low calories won't be quite as detrimental as so far as losing lean body mass because they have a lot of fat mass um, that is actually going to prevent them from losing lean body mass during that diet. Whereas if we take a very lean individual or somebody that is more of a normal body weight, well then they're at a greater risk of losing lean muscle mass during that short aggressive diet phase. Okay, so you can see by stretching out a diet and implementing diet breaks, we're going to minimize or attenuate that loss of lean body mass. All right, so something else to consider now that we've looked at uh, obese versus lean individuals is the situation where people's motivation is affected. So I've written this here, so fast initial weight loss to help improve motivation. So uh, this is something that probably works really well, again, in the individual that is a little bit more overweight uh, where smaller changes from week to week, if you were doing a more conservative diet, um, might not really motivate them. They don't see those changes in their body composition because it's such a small amount based on or relative to their total body weight. So for some people that are a little bit more 
overweight and have more to lose, well then maybe this more aggressive style of approach, certainly in the initial stages of dieting, might be better for them. And again, we also know from what I've just said earlier that there is less risk so far as loss of lean body mass in the larger individual with higher body fat than somebody that is lean. But it can still be the same kind of thing for somebody that is a lean individual or even a competitor. If they're seeing really slow, um, small amounts of uh, weight loss each week, it can tend to uh, also decrease their commitment to the program. Perhaps their adherence is uh, flawed and they're not being compliant because they're not seeing enough change. So regardless of their body weight or body composition, a low calorie diet might actually be necessary for some people uh, to ensure that they're actually compliant. And to be honest, even for somebody like me, when I first start my uh, contest prep, which will come up here in a few months time uh, for world championships, I know based on previous dieting attempts for me that I do need to see some progressive rapid results in those early few weeks of dieting to keep me motivated because I know that as I get leaner, my motivation increases. But while my body composition is still a little bit high, I tend to find it harder to be compliant to my diet if I'm not getting that change. So it's about looking at the individual, working out what is best for them, uh, and perhaps risking or compromising some lean body mass at the expense of just being compliant and getting to their overall weight loss goal maybe that is actually necessary. So I hope that gives you some clarification about when it is okay to actually undertake a very low calorie diet. It is situational, it also depends on the type of individuals. So uh, if you have any questions about uh, rapid or aggressive dieting strategies, please comment below and I'll try my best to answer them for you. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.